Adopt Me recently confirmed there is going to be some new Halloween pets in the Adopt Me 2021 Halloween update. Yes, that's correct. There's going to be multiple Adopt Me Halloween pets. Let's go and check it out. In Adopt Me's most recent weekly news, they stated that we're getting a flying vehicle update, settings updates would have been introduced, and then a ghost emoji. He said that the summer sale ended last week, which is sad, but don't worry, what that means is there is a Halloween update just around the corner, and they got a sneak peek at one of the spooky new pets. The fact that Jesse said one means that there is going to be multiple pets, plus it says pets, which is plural, meaning there is going to be a bunch of brand new Halloween pets coming out into a dummy, which I am so, so excited for. Jesse is apparently the only person who has seen these sneak peeks at these pets, and the update is coming out in late October. So the release date is late October. Last year, the update was the 28th of October, a few days before Halloween, meaning we might see the release date being the same time. Jesse said, it looks frighteningly good, which must mean that this is going to be some spooky looking pet. We're now about to go and check out this really awesome game, which might have all of these brand new Halloween pets that could be coming out in this new Adopt Me update. Apparently the whole of the Adopt Me map is Halloweenified and it's gonna look awesome and potentially what the brand new update will look like. Guys, I have just spawned in the Halloweenified Adopt Me map and oh my goodness, does this thing look crazy already? The sky is moving at speeds I have never seen before. It is spooky, the mountains have turned orange, and there is even these flashing strobe lights, which are a bit spooky, so what is going on here? Also notice that the ice cream is like blood. Um, it's a red neon ice cream now. Is it normally pink? I think it's normally pink, guys. Okay, let's explore around the map a bit. We have a nice little kitty cat here. Just a purple cat. That seems normal. And, um... Yeah, this is just red paint, guys. Just some red paint. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Ew. What is going on? Oh no. Okay. Let's start off by going and turning around this way. We have a dog in a uniform. That, that's kind of boring. What is next to it, though? We have... Ooh. Is this a lunar ox? Is this like an evil lunar ox, guys? This thing's actually pretty cool. It's very massive though. And it seems to be in a lovely pile of red red paint. Sure, let's call it red paint today. This is a bit spooky. Imagine if Adopt Me actually does this. And then what is this building? We, we all love a good old moldy building, don't we? Who doesn't love moldy buildings? Over here, this just looks like a... Is this what a normal Lunar Ox looks like? I think it's literally just a normal one. That's kind of boring. Over here we have a lovely bat shadow dragon. Yeah, it's a bat dragon mixed with a shadow dragon. This thing looks kind of funny. I kind of like it. I think the neon isn't that amazing because it's white. Maybe if it was like a red neon, that would look so cool. But personally, not a massive fan. All right, this just looks normal. Why, why is some things exactly the same? And then just covered in red paint. Just, just splat a bit of red paint on it, everyone will think it's Halloween. Over here we have just a normal unicorn and a white cat. I'm, I wonder what these guys are doing, they're just like roaming the streets by the looks of things. And then a black cat, aren't these things gonna be like very unlucky if you just randomly find one? Does that mean I'm gonna have bad luck now? Maybe, oh. Okay, these look like some evil demon dogs. And there's a big castle in the background. Let's check that in a minute. But these things are like demons. What are they? They have horns. Okay, this is so strange. And then there is a a big sculpture. Bro, I think I'm going to get nightmares from this Adopt Me game. What in the world is this? And then it looks like the remains of a kitsune. But it exploded. I... I don't know what to say about this. I I can move the parts of it around. Bro, is this a Kitsune's hand? I don't know. I, I'm not sure I want to know. For those people that didn't notice this, this is the post where Adomi originally leaked that there is an axolotl. So the axolotl is like right down just where my cursor is. But one thing that people didn't really pay attention to is there is literally a castle. 
there's the castle, guys. Do you think that castle is gonna be the Halloween castle? Because I think so. Why else would there be a completely random castle and we're talking about Halloween updates soon? So if they were sneaky enough to hide an axolotl, or I think they'd be sneaky enough to hide a castle. Meaning that this giant castle could be coming to adopt me, which is pretty exciting. Let's go and check this out and see what it looks like. We've previously had castles in Adopt Me for Christmas, actually. I don't believe we've had a Halloween castle. We've had Halloween buildings, which included like a graveyard last year, but not a castle. This just seems to be a very large, creepy looking castle. It looks a bit spooky. I'm not sure we can actually go into it or do anything. I don't even know how you'd get into this. I don't think I can jump. Oh, I can? It seems like it's not finished. I guess whoever made this never finished off the castle because they probably didn't expect people to go in it. But that would be pretty cool. I would love to see the castle and adopt me. I mean, if they've gone to the effort of putting it inside of a poster that they like everything else is in the game apart from a castle must mean at some point we're going to be going and getting a castle, which is pretty exciting, and personally, I really want to see a Halloween spooky castle in Adopt Me. Let me know if you guys want the exact same thing down below in the comment section. And yeah, this place is pretty spooky, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. In case you want to know what the Adopt Me map actually looked like in Halloween of 2020, here is a nice little look. Um, also, fun facts, Adopt Me doesn't know how to spell pumpkins, they said punkins. Well done, Adopt Me, I'm not sure if you ever realised that one. But as we can see, there is a full themed colour scheme, there is punkins, not pumpkins, interesting. And uh, yeah, there's this big wind turbine which is blocked off. This thing was always locked off and you could never access it, which is still wondering me to this day, what in the world is inside of this haunted, haunted windmill? Will we see this haunted windmill come back in 2021, or will it just, just stay as a locked up piece of Adopt Me builds that never got introduced? And if you want to know that much about 2017 Halloween, well you're in luck. This right here was what 2017 Adopt Me Halloween looked like. Pretty funny, it was called Dreamcraft back in the day. And then in 2019, they went and released the Halloween update in multiple stages. So in week one, you could go and get two pets, and then in week two, you could go and get two different pets, alongside being a game pass, and then a candy currency, meaning we will probably go and get a candy currency this year. They've been doing it basically every single year since the beginning, so that's pretty cool. Let me know what was your favourite Adopt Me Halloween update. Was it 2019? Was it 2020? Or was it 2017? Obviously there was a 2018 one, but I can't seem to go and actually find any proof of its existence, which is quite funny. Be sure to go and follow my Roblox profile at CookieCutterYT. The link is down below for you to go and do so. Click the three little dots and press follow. And when buying Robux, type out the star code CANDY just like so and press add. And it helps you go and support me and you lose nothing. Thanks for watching. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Bye.